Hey guys and welcome back again to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a video that was really requested and something that I thought would be fun to put on my channel just because, um, yeah, it'd just be fun. So as you're hearing by the title, it is going to be talking about pros and cons of piercings. And there are, there are pros and cons to every piercing and I'm just going to be going through like the general pros and cons that I have experienced and I'll probably go through each individual piercing of mine that I have and just kind of talk about the things that are good about them and the things that kind of suck. So to go ahead we're gonna go ahead and start with the cons first so we can end on a good note um the first con for me with all piercings is especially my facial piercings is i miss being able to just rub my face like you know how like when you wake up and you feel tired and you wake yourself up and you just rub your face i can't really do that because i have piercings on my face i mean granted i only have three so people who have more have it way worse than i do but I do miss just rubbing down my whole face, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, I guess you could still do that now, but you're going to risk, like, snagging one or, like, if you have, like, a ring on, and this has happened before, if you have, like, a ring on and you go and, like, rub your face and it gets, like, caught in between the bar and the ball and you have to, like, manure, yeah. That really sucks. Um, another con would be taking off clothes, especially shirts. When you go to take off your shirt, you gotta be careful because again, this has happened to me and your shirt gets caught on a piercing and pulls. That shit hurts really bad. So taking off clothes is another thing that is kind of difficult to do and putting on clothes, especially sweatshirts. I kind of have to pull over my face just because I mean, I don't have to do that now, but I mean, if the sweatshirt's like really tight, I do have to do that because if I don't, it'll like get caught, especially on my eyebrow piercing, it'll like get caught in the sweatshirt and like pull and ugh. Nothing hurts more than getting an eyebrow piercing caught in something. Like, oh my gosh, I still remember to this day, the very first time I ever caught it on something and holy shit, ow. So I always try to avoid ever, ha ever having that happen again. Like, ugh, it just hurts so bad. Another thing that comes with having piercings and another thing that is a con of piercings and this is for only if this bugs you if this doesn't bug you awesome so it's like water off a duck's back to you but people will assume that you are either a criminal or you are into hard drugs or you are crazy I get those all the time. People think I'm a drug addict. People think that I just escaped from prison. I don't know why or they just think I'm crazy that I would do something to my face I don't really get those. Um, obviously none of those are true. I've never been to jail in my life. Um, I'm not a criminal and I have never done hard drugs in my life and I don't ever plan on it. That shit's nuts. And I'm not crazy. I mean, I am a female so I do have my minutes where I am a little bit crazy but I am not anything crazy at all. And even if you have any type of body modification, you're not crazy. You just like to express yourself. And you know what? That's fucking cool. It's so mind boggling to me that you can't express yourself and also work with other people. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not a bad person. I'm actually a really hard worker and a really nice person, but people, they look at my appearance and they automatically think that there is something wrong with me just because I have jewelry in my face. I did do a rant on this a while back because I actually made a video on how I was turned down for a job because of my piercings. It's a really old video. I don't even have half the piercings that I have now or tattoos. So I mean you can go and watch that video if you want, but ever since getting more piercings and more tattoos, the situation has not changed and job hunting is literally the hardest thing to do ever. Another thing is piercings cost a lot of money because if you have a lot of piercings like me or or like I Love You Morgan for like, she's like prime example. If you have a lot of piercings, then you spend a lot of money buying jewelry for them. I mean, it's fun, it's great, but it's still spending money. I don't have a problem with it, but I mean, some people are like, oh, I need a shorter ring for this piercing. I need a certain color for this piercing. So yeah, I mean, it can get expensive depending on where you go to buy your body jewelry, but um, yeah, I don't really mind spending money on body jewelry, but some people do, so yeah. Another thing, probably one of the biggest cons for most people is scarring infection, irritation, and keloids. Those four big ones because if you get a piercing and you take it out, granted there will be some scarring once it heals over. For example, I have my Monroe Pierce. If ever and whenever I decide to take it out, not for a long, long time, but if I do ever decide to do that and I take it out, I will always have a little hole or a little scar there showing where it once was. It will never close up and be like this side of my lip. It will never look like that. There will always be a little hole there. Um, 
for another example, my eyebrow, when I take out my eyebrow piercing, I have two little holes. When, if I take it out and leave it out, there might be a little bit of scarring. That's just what you get when you get a piercing. And I hate when people get piercings and they come to me and they're like, well, this scar, yeah, like you didn't know that before you got the piercing. Of course, scarring is a huge, huge con of piercings because if you decide you don't want it anymore and you take it out, there is a great risk of scarring. Another thing is keloids for nose piercings. Nose piercings are notorious for getting keloids. It's not uncommon, not unhealthy, it just happens. But it is something you do have to deal with if it arises because when you get them, you cannot just get rid of them like that. They do take time to heal. So your nose piercing is gonna look a little bit ugly for a while. It's normal, it happens, nose piercings, that's what you get. It's just how it goes. Irritation, for example, me and my eyebrow, we've been going at this for a while now. Every time I snag my eyebrow, my eyebrow will get a little bit red and swollen because it is irritated because I snagged it really hard on something. It hurts, and if I get dressed and I snag it and I need to go to the store, yes, it's gonna be a little bit embarrassing because it's red and it's swollen. Not infected, I just pulled it a little bit and it gets irritated but it looks a little bit ugly for about an hour. So that's another thing you kind of have to take into consideration. And the big one is infection. If you get a piercing and you don't take care of it, the very obvious thing will happen and that is infection. You must take care of your piercings like you were stabbed with a knife. It is an open wound, you must take care of them until that wound has healed or until you have you know, taken care of it to its point of healing. So, you know, no more redness, no more pus, no more swelling, no more pain. You know, you just, you really got to take care of it because some people, and this drives me so, so crazy, like when people get piercings and then they stop taking care of them after a few days and be like, oh, it's healed already. Number one, that's impossible. Number two, you must have the fastest healing body in the entire universe, so you're probably not human. And number three, like, why would you risk an infection? I just don't understand, but yeah. So those four things are another con of piercings. And the last one, this one kind of generates for me only. When I wake up in the morning, I literally take time out of my morning to check to make sure they're still there. Okay, that's still there, that's still there, and then I push it back so it makes sure it's in place. I make sure that's still there. Uh-huh, I make sure that's still there, my belly button. I make sure all my piercings are still there because you never know if in the middle of the night a ball came loose and it fell out. So I always make sure that I check my piercings in the morning. If you're in a rush, that can be kind of a problem, but that's just what I like to do. Did anyone else do that? If you also do little morning checks with your piercings, please leave a comment down below. I wanna know if I'm like not alone there. Cons of each of my piercings is the con of my Monroe. One, it's gonna leave a really ugly scar if ever and whenever I decide to take it out. Number two is sometimes when I talk, very, very rarely, but it has happened, the back post will catch on my tooth like that. And I will go to raise my lip and it hurts because it'll pull and it really hurts. So yes, that has happened to me before and that's one con of Monroe piercing. The con of tongue, never happened to me before but it can happen. You can bite down on the ball and possibly hurt your tongue piercing or hurt your teeth. So that's one con of tongue piercing. That's really the only con of tongue piercing. People always ask me, oh, what are the cons of tongue piercings? And that's really the only one is you just gotta be really careful when you talk. Make sure you have a good sized tongue ring that fits in your tongue so you're, it's not sliding around all over your mouth and you're not gonna risk biting down on it. So yeah, just that's really the only con I could find with the tongue piercing. My next one is the con of eyebrow. Of a, the con of my eyebrow piercing is if you're a girl and you like to do highlights on your brow bone for makeup, forget about it when you have an eyebrow piercing. I have not worn an upper brow highlight on my face in so long because it is so hard to get a highlight to look good up there with an eyebrow piercing because sometimes it won't go all the way around the ball or if I like you know, it just, it doesn't look good. So makeup is damn near impossible with this thing. Filling in my eyebrows is okay. I don't have a problem doing that, but it, only when it comes to putting highlight on my upper brow bone, just forget about it because it'll only look good on this eye, but it doesn't look good on this eye because you have a ball in the way. It just doesn't look good. And the con of my nose is keloids, of course. I haven't had one in almost a year now. 
thank God. It's been almost a year since my last keloid and I'm really, really happy about it. The reasoning why, I've covered this tons of times, but I'll just pop through it right now. Um, the reason why is because I did switch to a 14 karat um, white gold hoop. So it is higher quality metal, so keloids are less likely to arise when you have a higher quality metal. Just gonna get that out of the way. And then the con of my belly button piercing is of course getting it caught. That's really, it. I haven't had any really bad experiences, but it can get caught and it will hurt and it could arise migration which is very very common with belly button piercings but it can happen so yeah getting it caught is really the only con for that moving on to pros of piercings is um, the first pro is it makes you unique as a person because everyone as a person decides which ones they want like me I really wanted my eyebrow pierce it's not everyone's cup of tea but guess what it makes me unique because I have it so I like it. The next one is it is a way of expressing yourself. I mean, there are tons of ways of expressing yourself, you know, like through different, you know, ways in life, but body modifications are a very personal way of expressing yourself. So I think that is so awesome when I see that. I love that. The other thing is you can always change it up with different jewelry, like your eyebrow, you can have a barbell or a hoop, your nose, you can have a stutter or a hoop, your Monroe, you can have a a chain hanging you can have whatever you want so it's like a good way to mix up your look you don't always have to have the same thing like a tattoo it's always going to be the same thing for the rest of your life but body jewelry you can switch it up by putting in different jewelry which is also really really cool the other thing is piercings are never ever permanent they always can be taken out so if you get a piercing and then later in life you decide you don't want it anymore guess what all you got to do is take out the jewelry and it's gone um like i said before scarring and all that will be there but regardless, they're never permanent. It's not a tattoo. They can always be taken out. Another one is you can always share your experience with people. That's why I, my favorite thing of doing YouTube is about is sharing my personal experience with piercings with everybody. And since I'm in the process of being trained to become a body piercer, I can share even more information with you guys. And that's one of my all time favorite things. That's like one of the best things about YouTube for me is just sharing my experience, like my tongue piercing videos. You know, those have helped a lot of people, so I really like that. Another thing, and I do count this as a pro because especially if you're young, I believe that piercings show you a sense of responsibility because you have to take care of it. Um, some piercings do take longer to heal than others. Um, really, um, you know, all piercings vary really with, with healing time. But I believe it does show a lot of responsibility because you have to remember to wake up and clean it before you go to bed, clean it. If you get it caught on something, clean it. I just like, and it gives you like a good like schedule and clockwork and you know, just responsibility overall because you know, it's like getting a dog. When you get a dog, you become 10 times more responsible than you were before you had a dog because you have to remember to feed it, to bathe it, to clip their nails so they don't overgrow, to take them out to the bathroom, make sure they get exercise, you know? Those two things just kind of go hand in hand. They just teach you really great responsibility. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and I hope it was helpful for you and I hope you learned a few more pros and cons. Again, these are just in my personal opinions. These are just things that I thought of right off the top of my head. They don't necessarily mean the same thing for everybody, but I really wanted to make this video just because and a few people wanted to know a few pros and cons. Well, there you go. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check out the description box for all of my links and everything like that. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys. Blech. <sighs> <sighs> that people can't